Okay, this is my Coleman PowerMate 4000 generator. The uh, recoil cord, as you can see, I keep pulling it out. The spring broke this past winter. I can feed it through manually and draw it in like that, but that's kind of a pain. I uh, researched it to try to figure out how to fix it. Um, this entire shroud has two 7 16 bolts here, one right here, and one right here. And uh, I'll take it off and show you what it looks like underneath. So, like I said, I removed the four bolts, and then this whole shroud comes off. And here's the inside of the pulley system. I took it apart earlier and I confirmed that the spring is in fact broken in there. Um, it attaches right here as well as in a fitting on the other side of that hole and that plastic. Um, it's an old generator. I'm not sure if I can, whether I can find a replacement spring for it. Today is Sunday. It's Easter. Um, a lot of places are closed. So I went on the internet to find out different options and I actually came across several um, YouTube videos that said that this spindle right here can accommodate and this is a 7-8 socket for this on there with a quarter inch drill driver and a 3-8 inch socket adapter like that with my 18 volt DeWalt cordless drill and this will turn over the, um, I believe that's called a flywheel, anyway turn it over and we'll start it. Um, actually when you turn it you can hear it, I can hear the piston rotating through there so conceptually, it, it seems to work. I watched quite a few videos. Um, I'm going to give it a whirl because uh, if this would work, this would be like an electric starter for the generator. So I'll set everything up and I'll come back with the video. Okay, so I've got my drill all set up with the adapter into the 7-8 socket. I've got the choke closed on my carburetor. And let's give her a whirl. So that worked like just amazing. Um, so as I could, I could actually smell the gas coming through the carburetor, and that's what I was doing as I was um, half choking it. And then once I turned it fully open and had the um, the drill still on the spindle, I just kept revving it. I'm not sure if it's supposed to take that long, but uh, I'll double check my spark plug, make sure it's not gunked up. But yeah, as far as trying to recoil start this baby. It'll start within three or four pulls, but it's a lot of pull. <laughs> so this will save some shouldering. Um, I think it'll save me a spring kit unless I can buy it for about 20 bucks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call this electric starter an absolutely awesome replacement. cost me five bucks for the socket. cost me three bucks for the adapter. Yeah, um, less than ten bucks and I have an electric started uh, generator. Awesome. Alright, thanks for watching. Alright, so after thinking about it for about five minutes, uh, I decided to uh, quote unquote go for broke. So I drilled a hole through the shroud so it'll protect. Um, 
I think it's called the flywheel. But also protect me from any dangers of getting wrapped around that thing because that that could be a, just a really bad day. So this hole is uh, about an inch and an eighth. Big enough to accommodate that without any scraping on the side of the hole for the socket. And I cut that out just if anyone wants to know how I did it with uh, this cone bit that I had. So there we are. Um, electric starter. Ten bucks. About a half hour's worth of work. Rock on. Alright. Thanks for watching.